Next we have Lila Hurry, Internet Mana for Hamza. Karangataha maha no na ho e fa tena koto tena koto tena katoa koto katoa Helensville. Tonight I bring a message to Helensville from the rest of New Zealand. The message comes from halls filled by ordinary New Zealanders on the internet mana road trip. The halls of Kaitaia, Kaikoi, Kerikeri, Whangarei, Kelston, Rotorua, Hamilton, New Plymouth, Whanganui, Palmerston North, Wellington, Nelson, Christchurch, Queenstown, and tonight and Invercar in Invercargill. These halls where thousands of people have already gathered and we are still on that road. That message is clear. Change is possible. I can sense a willingness to reclaim politics for the young, for rural communities, for the people of Christchurch and Kaitaia and Kumu. I have not felt this move since the 80s when I took my first political footsteps in support of the imprisoned Nelson Mandela and I remember which side I was on in <laughs> to share the leadership of Internet Mana's clever and brave team and I take that responsibility very seriously. I bring to this task my experience of leading the charge for change from a minority position in Parliament. If this is a rock star economy, it is the kind of rock star that leaves a trail of destruction in its wake. We have an inequality crisis, a crisis of political integrity, and a crisis for the independence and freedom of New Zealanders. Your party vote for internet mana will focus our House of Representatives on the solutions. At the top of our list, is a plan to unleash the creative potential of New Zealand in the digital age. Re the recent crash in dairy prices and now raw log prices as we heard on the news tonight just shows the risk that we are at with our dependence on the export of raw commodities. Raw commodity prices have been at record levels in the last few years and yet we have only managed to get unemployment down to 5.6%. That is a disgrace. Our jobs and innovation plans take unemployment head on at every level and in every community. We will not trade off growth against the, the, our beautiful environment. We will block deep sea oil drilling off Helensville's beaches and the rest of our precious coastline. Our tech sector is crying out for a government that can lead a digital revolution alongside our smart Kiwi innovators. We are up for that. New Zealand's digital infrastructure, our education system, our economic development strategy can make New Zealand a leader and not a poor relation in the information age. We will scrap national standards in our primary schools and make a massive investment in the modernisation of our education system so that we can equip our kids to take leadership in the digital age. We will reintroduce free tertiary education and relieve young New Zealanders from their burden of debt. And it is time to restore integrity and transparency to our political system. It is time to repeal the employment law changes that form part of the deal with Warner Brothers. To reopen the Sky City Convention Centre contract, which changed our gambling laws and put more families and communities at the mercy of gambling harm. We will hold our intelligence services accountable for the illegal spying on at least 88 New Zealanders and there will be a Royal Commission of Inquiry into these developments and all those involved will be exposed to scrutiny as a result. 
Our independence is not up for sale under a government we support. We can stop the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement from undermining our independence and we will not allow anyone to dictate our laws and our policies. Tweets on hash GCSB. They want to cover it up, but the truth is out there.